Father, we give you praise today. We give you glory. Let your spirit just rest upon us today. Fill us with your love and your power. In the name of Jesus, we give you praise, Lord. We thank you for just another day and another opportunity. We thank you for the forgiveness of sin, the blotting out of our transgression, for your blood that covers us. Thank you for your healing powers. And God, I pray healing today for those that are sick in their bodies, healing today. I pray for the grieving families, those that are grieving and not understanding what you're doing and why you're doing it. But nevertheless, God, your will be done and your kingdom come. We love you. We give you praise. Help us now, Lord, as we would share with your people. Help us to speak truth, nothing but truth. So help us. For this is our prayer, our big brother, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Amen. While you're standing, Psalms 113, verse 1 through 9. Psalms 113, verse 1 through 9. Psalms 13. Praise ye the Lord. Praise, O ye servants of the Lord, praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. From the rising of the sun until the going down of the same, the Lord's name is to be praised. The Lord is high above all nations and his glory above the heavens. Who is like unto the Lord our God? Who dwelleth on high, who humbled himself to behold the things that are in heaven and in earth. He raises up the poor out of the dust and lifted the needy out of the dungeon, that he may set him with princes, even with the princes of his people. He maketh the barren woman to keep house and to be a joyous mother of children. Praise ye the Lord. You may be seated. I come this morning with the question when you look at someone and ask them who is like our God? When you look at someone again and ask them who is like our God? I think it's, it's funny how children, children can say some of the weirdest things and some of the funniest things. I was, I was thinking some time ago when maybe De, uh, uh, Bailey was about Three, she's 22 now. She was three, and um, um, we were we were next door for something, and we say, uh, Bailey, would you sing a song for pop uh, for Papa? And basically, uh, Papa, I'm, I'm gonna sing a song in the church for you. And say we say, Bailey, what you gonna sing? She's I'm gonna get him saying, you gonna make me lose my mind up in here, up in here. You gonna make me go off. <laughs> It was so funny, and 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 and, and she would she say, uh, "What's your favorite song?" Uh, uh, I know that I can make it. I know that I can stand. And she says, uh, "What's that? How they going on, man?" My life in hand. And she said, "And if your hand is broken, just lift your hand and say, I know." <laughs> She would say, if your hand is broken, it was your heart is broken. But she said, and if your hand is broken, just lift them high and say. <laughs> I know I can make children say some of the weirdest things. Um, it's a little boy heard the choir singing, and the choir was saying, There's nobody like our God. And the little boy said, Mom, why nobody like God? And she had to explain to him that. It wasn't that nobody liked God, <laughs> but there's nobody that can compare to God. She thought the choir was saying nobody like him. <laughs> the little boy who sits next to his mom and um, the choir is singing, or the preacher says, God is God and he's all by himself. And, and the little boy say, why nobody want to be with him? <laughs> He's God all by himself. Or uh, someone says, that there's no one beside God. You've heard that before. 
And the child said, why nobody want to sit with it? Well, it's something how when it comes to God, there's really nobody like our God. Our God is not passively watching and waiting. He has seen to everything. And I believe now he's resting in the finished work and rejoicing. Rejoicing when we can simply ask him, God, reveal my life story. Oh, I can hear James Cleveland write the song. If anyone asks uh, my life story. I want it to be known that Jesus is the best thing that ever happened to me. No, brothers and sisters, God is not on the outside looking in. His vantage of the past, the present, and the future is somehow synchronized so that he sees the end in the beginning. And he began things once he has ended it. There's nobody like our God. Hallelujah. It is through us that he wants to be on the inside looking out. I, I'm going to say, he wants to be on the inside of us looking out. Not because he need our eyes, but simply because we need his vision. Verse 5 tells us, ask us, who is like unto the Lord our God? It's simply a rhetorical question. Uh, it's a life-defining question that requires a resounding answer. And the answer is, there is nobody like our God. Will you clap your hands and praise him? You see, one time... Um, that once was someone who wanted to be like our God. He was an angelic prince who many ways was a pinnacle of perfection. We know him as Satan. But then his name uh, became Lucifer. The star of the morning, the archangel who was in charge of the worship in heaven. And you can read about it in Ezekiel chapter 28. Starting at verse 12. Ezekiel chapter 28 started at verse 12. He was in charge of the worship in heaven. God had fashioned him in splendor. He was full of wisdom and perfect in form and in his function. At the same point, his worship to God turned. And now Satan wanted to be worshiped. He began to view God as his arrival. The Bible says in Isaiah 14 verse 12, it gives us to know that Lucifer said in his heart, I will ascend to heaven above the stars of God. He decided he would uh, set his throne uh, on him and ascend above the heights of the clouds. That he would make himself like our God. Lucifer got full of pride and he wanted to be worshipped. Be careful brothers and sisters. Always want the applaud of men. Hallelujah. Well, the fact is you don't really need the applaud of men but you need the applaud of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah, the Bible lets us know that uh, he wanted to be worshipped like our God. His, his undoing began with the pride in his heart and, and compared to us uh, it's something how he is a, he began in perfection but he ended up flawed. Um, he began in perfection but he ended up flawed but when you look at us we began in flawed but since we know Christ we end up in perfection. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Pride encouraged the worship of self. Why? Humility shuts down the selfishness of pride. Brothers and sisters, the very existence of God is unprecedented. He is without precedent. Our pride, our pride reference point. There was none before him. 
God did not evolve. Our God was, is, and is to come. Before him, there was no God. Which is why we should have no God before him. Even though our God is invisible, his existence is undeniable. Brother Webster defines God as the being perfect in power, wisdom, and goodness, who is worshiped as creator of the ruler and ruler of the universe. Now, one may think that this definition is all inclusive and definitive, but this definition is only a beginning because we're limited in his, in our interpretation of an unlimited God. We don't have the vocabulary to really describe God. No word has been invented to really show us, tell us how good God is to us. Somebody give him praise. There aren't enough words in our vocabulary to describe the one whose revelation in heaven is speechless. Because God transcends uh, definition. When you look at somebody and say, our God transcends definition. Because to define something, we must capture its essence and with the words that embodies our subject. But our God defies those parameters. I know we can't define him in words. So the question is, how can we describe him? What can we use to describe him? Because there is nobody. There is none like our God. Hallelujah. Every definition of God we have Every description of God can only be classified by human concepts and human context. We liken our ability uh, to only define or to articulate who God is to that of a newborn baby. When you're talking about trying to tell or describe how God is, can you imagine a newborn baby just getting here trying to tell you, mama, how great you are? They can't even do it. All they do, well, but they can't describe how great you are. I want you to know this morning, there is nobody like our God. The best words you got can't describe him. The best description you can give can't even describe him. He's greater than great. Bigger than big. More lovable than love. Can no party, can no party do me like Jesus. Come on and give him praise. Who is like our God? Go ahead and ask, who is like our God? Nobody, high five about three people tell me, nobody like our God. Tell him, you didn't wake me up this morning. You didn't start me on my way. It wasn't you that blessed me. It wasn't you that healed me. It wasn't you that gave me what I got. It wasn't you that made me who I am. It was nobody but my God. Will you high five somebody and say, my God is a good God and he's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be lifted up. He's worthy Clap your hands and praise him. Clap your hands and give him praise. And I'm getting ready to close him because he is loved. Will you help, help me testify? Look at somebody and say, because he is loved. I am loved and can be loved. Give him praise about it. When you look at your mind say, because he is life, I can live. Thank God I live because he lives. I live because he's life. 
I got life. Nobody, nobody like our God. Nobody can't compare to him. Nobody can love me like he loved me. Nobody can treat me like he treat me. Nobody, come on and praise your God. Well, well, because he's almighty, he's almighty, I can do all things through him. Because he's a healer, I am healed. Because he's wisdom, I am wise. Because he is, I am. Tell somebody, because he is, I am. I'm blessing the city. I'm blessing the fields. I am blessed when I come. I am blessed when I go. Clap your hands and praise him. Yes, because of who he is. We are who he says we are. Tell somebody because of who he is. We are who he says we are. He said, I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. He said, I'm his son. He said, I belong to him. And I'm so glad. Help me shout, so glad. So glad. There's nobody like my God. Nobody can do me like God. Nobody can bless me like God. Nobody can love me like God. That's why I praise him. That's why I lift him up. That's why I glorify him. That's why I praise him. Yes, yes. The psalmist says, praise the Lord. Praise him. Praise his name. Bless be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore from the rising of the sun to the setting of the same. He's worthy, he's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be magnified. Give him glory, give him glory. The Lord is high above the nation. The Lord is high and lifted up. He's King of Kings. He's Lord of Lord. He's a glory. He's a Amen. He's a I am. He's Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Tiskanu. Jehovah Shalom. Jehovah Rapha. Yes. Yes. Shout yes. Nobody, nobody like my God. Nobody, excuse me, nobody, yes. Will you check up by three people's hand and tell them that's nobody like our God. That's why I'm a praise him. That's why I'm a praise him. Go ahead and give him praise. Go ahead and give him glory. If you got anything to praise him for, praise him now. Praise him now. Praise him. Praise him. Nobody like him. When people gave up on you, God never gave up on you. He never left you. He never turned his back on you. I'm so glad. There's nobody like our God. How great 
Now go, sing with me. It has some praise to you, my mission. All the sea. a great God. He loves you so much he died for you. How much did he love you? They stretched him wide. They hung him high, stretched him wide. He hung his head for you. He's a great God. He's a great God. If you're here this morning, you want to give your life to Jesus, I encourage you to come now. If you hear this morning, you say, Bro Hawkins, I need prayer. I need prayer. I need prayer. Come on now. Will you come? Come. Altar workers, will you come? Altar workers, will you come? Nobody can't 